Okay, uh, IV or intravenous vitamin C uh, and its value in cancer. Um, well, we all know vitamin C is uh, essential. Without it, we have a deficiency syndrome called scurvy, and uh, that this is well known um, because uh, vitamin C is necessary in actually in the production of collagen. When collagen is kind of like the um, the stuff that makes our subcutaneous tissue kind of like the packing paper, uh, it gives us you know without collagen, our skin would just be really loose. Our gums would bleed, you know, that's, and that's what happens with people that have scurvy. They have a, a lack of vitamin C, which is vitamin C is um, a compound that's formed in uh, certain, lots of foods, lots of different plant foods and fruits. Of course, everyone knows oranges and lemons and limes. But um, in any case, um, what vitamin C does is it's, it's an antioxidant. And what an antioxidant really is, in chemical terms, it's called a reducing agent. And a reducing agent is uh, anything that donates electrons. It's got an extra electron and it donates it. And, the re and what it donates it to is wherever there's an electron deficit. And so cells that have, or, or atoms that have electron deficits are usually what we call free radicals. And they're running around looking for an electron. And in that look, running around, they actually tear up, you know, they rip holes in membranes, they, they, they cause mutations, they do all sorts of damage. So they're called, so it's called, Usually, their free radicals are called, most of them are derived in one way or another from oxygen, so the reactive oxygen species, but there are also reactive nitrogen species, and there's, a, there's many other kinds of free radicals. But in any case, a free radical is an atom or molecule that's lacking uh, an electron and is hungrily looking for it. And an antioxidant comes along and quenches it. Now, nature uses oxidants, things that are get oxidized, which is the opposite of an antioxidant, so something that oxidizes, that steals an electron. It uses it. That's how we make. Uh, that's how our body makes energy from glucose, oxidative phosphorylation. Um, that's also how our immune system fights and kills bacteria and other things. It, they oxidize it. So oxidation is a natural, necessary, very important part of of the biochemistry of life. But just as equally important, if you've, you've started a fire to, to to for a purpose, you need to be able to put it out at the right time. And so the quenching of that fire is the antioxidants. And of course, they all come in plants. They're they're plants and fruits and nuts and seeds provide antioxidants. Vitamin C is one of the most well-known. What we have found is that high doses of, anti of, of vitamin C, what it does is um, uh, goes around donating electrons wherever it needs to. Well, when it runs into iron or copper, which are two very prevalent uh, cations or minerals in our body, uh, there's a reaction called the Fenton reaction. And when it donates, for example, iron has two, two states. It's ferric and ferrous. So when it donates it to the ferric, it becomes ferrous. In that, when it donates that electron, it, one of the byproducts is called hydrogen peroxide. And uh, that's called the Fenton reaction. <clears throat> um, and uh, so, very easy. Cancer cells, having modified their genetic expression because they no longer use oxygen, stopped up, they stopped producing antioxidant enzymes. So they don't have a lot of catalase and a lot of superoxide dismutase. So when, they're, when a cancer cell um, encounters a peroxide, it doesn't have the catalase, which healthy cells do have, to neutralize it. And so they get killed. But the, whereas the, since the healthy cell does have catalase, it just converts the peroxide into water and oxygen, which, that, which is actually good for it. So it turns out to be nutritional or, or, or beneficial to the healthy cell and uh, deadly to the cancer cell. So a perfect chemo kills the good guy, uh, kills the bad guy, Good for the good guy. So it's a it's a perfect combination, and that's what it does. Now the reason um, copper and iron is that um, um, cancer cells accumulate iron. They need iron to to divide, right? And they also need copper because copper is necessary in new blood vessel formation, angiogenesis. So they've got these uh, minerals with them. So uh, it's a, it's a beautiful target. And um, what I just said has all been uh, corroborated uh, by the National Institute of Health, the FDA. Um, and the NCI, National Cancer Institute, they published a series of studies from 2004 up to about 2008 or 9, uh, showing that this is the mechanism um, by which uh, high-dose vitamin C kills cancer. And, um, and now there's a clinical trial going on at the University of Kansas, um, and um, some insurances are even paying for uh, vitamin C and, and cancer. So it's coming out of the alternative closet and probably going to be considered conventional soon.